welcome to another episode of the Hard Target Range. Let's go shooting. Here we are down at the Hard Target Range, and let me tell you, it is so humid today, it feels like the humidity is 150 degrees. It reminds me of my youth down in the Keys in the 60s. Today we're going to be shooting the Sig Sauer Square Revolver, the P250. So let's try it out on those beautiful AR-500 steel hard targets by Hard Target. See, it doesn't even seem to bother the cattle over there. They're as content as can be in the woods while I'm shooting. Well, what can I say, guys? It's a nice, accurate firearm. A nice shooter, like SIGs generally are. Here we are at 150 feet, and double action or not, I don't seem to have any problem hitting those beautiful AR-500 steel hard targets from Hard Target. Well, here we are back in the shop, and I see Jack left me a little grapefruit juice. That was nice of him. So we'll take a little break here and cool down because the humidity outside is unbearable. It's over 85 degrees and the humidity is, is, this is the most humid day I can remember since I was a kid down the Florida Keys. To the sunny slopes of long ago. Uh, that doesn't heat you up and cool you down all the same time. Now this is what we were shooting today. SIG P250 Compact, 9mm. It has a hammer on it, unlike the SIG P320, and this was really a, a well-made and ingenious gun when they brought it out. They got the Golden Bullseye Award from the NRA for it, and it just didn't sell. And so in order to make lemonade out of lemons, they pretty much scavenged the parts off of this to come up with the P320, which of course has been adopted, yeah, by the U.S. military. So, you never know what you're going to have in life, or what's going to come out of it. I guess this is a good example. But this is a very nice gun. As you can see, it's perfectly accurate. It has SIG night sights on it. Of course, a double action only trigger pull. Every trigger pull is the same. It's double action only. Each time you're pulling that hammer all the way back till it releases just like a revolver would be that uh, would be double action only so that you couldn't cock it so the trigger pull on this on this one is around eight pounds I find it to be a an easy gun to shoot for me because I br was brought up on revolvers and of course I carried a Centurion 92D or 92D Centurion Beretta in nine millimeter for years so Double action only was, was really quite popular in the 90s with the law enforcement agencies in the country. And what it does, having that, is it not only gives you a trigger pull that's strong enough, you're very unlikely, unless you're being really stupid, to have negligent discharge, but it also has that happen on every trigger pull. So they're less likely to pull off a double tap when it was unintended. Yeah, and the police agencies like that for obvious reasons. Myself, I like it because I started out on revolvers, and this is basically, hence the, the title, a square revolver. Very nice gun. This gun, the one thing I, there's two things I don't like about this particular SIG and the one is the Picatinny rail was so sharp. As If you look at this, you can see it's rounded, which I did, because it was just too sharp an edge, too, too sharp an edge right here and along here. In a survival circumstance, you could use it to cut down a tree. Yeah, says I. So I cleaned that up and took quite a bit of material off and smoothed it. 
so that's not there anymore. Still works perfectly fine in its usage as a Picatinny rail. So yeah, in case you're listening, Sig, you could you could lighten these up a little bit. The other thing you could do is, since the bottom component of this on the 250 and the 320 are the same, and you can remove the grip frame here and replace it with a new one, say a different color, or even they have a carry model which has the longer grip on it so that it uses the full-size magazines. You know, Sig, you might want to bring back your SAS model in the grip frame here because you're selling these for 40 bucks. It wouldn't be too much for you to come up with an SAS grip frame for your 320s, 250s because I'd really like that. Well, there you go, guys. A fantastic gun. The other little thing I don't like, but it's 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 problem on all SIGs, is how much width is added with the takedown lever. But on the good side of that, they have very nice takedown levers. Very easy to take these guns down. Well, there you go, guys. There's the hard target shooting show for this week. I'll leave you with some more footage of me shooting this gun at the hard target range. And this footage is from last fall. I thought I'd throw it in there and let you see the change in the hard target range in the last six months. Well, that ends another episode of the Hard Target Range. Thanks for tuning in this week. Till next week, for Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe.